day, macaroni and cheese, or he would have pancakes. And one day, he says, I can't decide what to have. So I said, don't worry, Matthew. I'm going to decide for you. Macaroni and cheese pancake. Egg and cheese pancake. Barbecued chicken pancakes. A chocolate chip pancakes. Postmodern pancakes. Basically, you, you make some pancakes and then you chop them up and then you throw them in pancake batter again. And... Giant glazed apple milk pancake. The thing that's cool about it is how we glaze it. Watch, you'll see in a minute. The drill and I reamed out the burners so they delivered twice as much gas. I almost did better with assholes. It's a very adversarial relationship, a restaurant with new customers. With old customers, it's really intimate and family life. But all new customers, because I've been here like 32 years, they have to prove it to me that they're okay to feed. I don't like feeling somebody's pussy up. You know, yeah. It gets a put this thing in your hand that has like this, like you know, you know, what I mean? it's like viscous feel to it. It's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. And then when you cook it, it cooks different too. It's much friendlier than cooking eggs. My favorite documentary on a restaurant is a movie called I Like Killing Flies. It came out in 2004, and it follows Kenny Shopson. He owned and operated Shopson's in New York City. You're introduced to him in New York City. He rides everywhere on his moped, and every day when he shows up, he has to unlock the gates that enclose of the restaurant. I don't know if this is a normal thing in New York City or it happens elsewhere. I've never seen anything like it. Of course, I'm here in Minnesota. But at the end of the day, it's completely enclosed, much like if you go into a shopping mall and they they close the gates on the the different stores, but this is not just gated. It's completely solid uh pull down doors all the way around the restaurant. So maybe a lot of crime in that area or he's just dealt with issues. Never seen that before. But you're you're introduced to this guy, Kenny Shopson. I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. I've just inserted some of my favorite clips and maybe give you a little background in case you want to check it out yourself. He is very eclectic, very set in his ways, stubborn. And he has certain rules uh, for dining in his restaurant. And unless you're a regular or you've heard about it, if you're, if you're walking in off the street, you're in trouble. Because if you ask for anything special, anything like that, you're going to be kicked out. Some, some of his basic rules are if you ask for food to go, that's an absolute no. You could be kicked out. You come in just for a cup of coffee, no, get out, leave. Uh, if you go in there, you will eat or you will leave. And anything over uh, three or four top, there's no large parties. You, it's small tables only with two or three people. Any large tables, they won't even seat you. you. You can't even split into a couple smaller tables. He just doesn't want the business at all. So you, the documentary follows Kenny Shopson in New York City, and he's been running this diner for over 30 years. He has 
a lot of philosophies on how life should be lived, how food should be cooked, foul-mouthed, but a very extensive menu. You can tell he, he puts a lot of passion into his cooking. A lot of his staff is his children and his wife. I've seen it all the way through at least four times. If you're looking for uh, an interesting documentary on a restaurant based in New York City, check out I Like Killing Flies. Thanks for watching. Three minutes.